What's up guys? It's Elisa. Excuse the crazy hair. Um, I did my makeup but not my hair. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day pregnancy edition. Feeling pretty hungry right now so I'm gonna go get my first meal started. It is about 11.54. I slept in a little bit, did my makeup, so that's why we're eating a little later. So let me go show you guys what my first meal is gonna be. Alright guys, so for the first meal I'm gonna be having some oatmeal from Trader Joe's. This one's really good. And I like to add strawberries on top. But first I'm going to mix in the oatmeal with about half a scoop of this protein. Just to get some extra protein in there. And then some almond milk. So let me show you guys what that looks like real quick. So that's what it looks like with the oatmeal. And then I usually take about this much of the protein. This one's really good if you guys haven't tried it flavor wise. Mix that in there before I warm it up. Take a spoon and just kind of mix it really well. Okay, and for the milk, I fill this up usually, just for like, you know, a good indicator of how much I'll need. Pour it in, usually the perfect amount. Mix this up. And then I'll pop it in the microwave for like a minute and 20, and then usually that's enough, but we'll see. And I'm gonna cut up the strawberries after this. So I ended up needing about two minutes altogether, but I like to check it because it's exploded on me a lot of times. But I diced up some strawberries, and then I added a tablespoon of peanut butter. This is the one that I use, just skippy, creamy. And it comes out really good. It has protein, carbs, everything, antioxidants. So, one of my staples for breakfast or any meal of the day. And that's what it's looking like. So that's gonna be my first meal. Okay guys, so back in the kitchen again. I just finished editing a video for a couple hours and just doing some things. So it's about 2.30 p.m. now. I got a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat a snack before I go to the gym. Um, I'm gonna do some cucumbers and then this tzatziki sauce that I got at Trader Joe's. I haven't tried this one yet, but it looks really good and it has like actual cucumber slices in there. So I'm gonna do some of that and then a little bit of these pita chips by Stacy's. You guys probably all seen these. So that sounds pretty good. I love cucumbers. I'm gonna try this out real quick, see if it's good. It says tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. It's good. It's not like the best one I've ever had, but Definitely does the job, and I like because it has actual cucumbers in there. So I'm gonna eat this. This is gonna be my little snack to hold me over till I go to the gym, and then I'll probably, I don't know, eat a smoothie. I don't know what I'll eat after, but you guys will see. So let me show you guys a better view of this. There we go. Ziki, cucumber, and the chips. Okay guys, so for post-workout, we're gonna do a smoothie. I have the frozen fruits, almond milk, Greek yogurt, spinach, and protein. Got it all mixed in there, and I just kinda guesstimate it with the milk. And always blend it on high, so this one did come out pretty good. The spinach taste is kinda there, but I just need a way to get all my greens in, so this is definitely a great way in the morning or after your workout just to get some greens in, get some more protein in, and that was the final product. Okay, so after the smoothie, I had some rice and beans. Just didn't want these to go to waste, so they're from El Pollo Loco, just leftovers. Put a little cheese on the beans, and that was like a little snack before dinner. All right, now for dinner, we have some grape tomatoes, a salad kit, some baby mixed kale, Cucumber, all these ingredients are from Trader Joe's, minus the dressing, I believe. And I got these grilled strips from there. Really good, you just heat them up. You could use them however you want. And mixed it all together with the dressing that I used. You could get it at any grocery store. It's a cilantro avocado, I believe, yogurt dressing. So 40 calories, two tablespoons. It goes great with the salad. 
So I paired that little side salad with some mac and cheese. And that was the final meal. And then cannot forget the chocolate milk. I've definitely been craving that in this pregnancy. So that is how I finished off my night for food. Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. 